in the place between dreams and reality. You will hear the calm beyond the ordinary. A call to the realm of possibilities. A call to the deep end. science hasn't found a cure for it yet, along with so many other ailments. Science tells us there's more than 2,000 known diseases in the world, no doubt many more unknown. The smallest molecular creatures have positioned themselves to utterly destroy man, and yet there have been so few breakthroughs in medical science. But what if? What if there was a cure? discussing the classifications and subcategories of basic disease. We will discuss parasitic diseases, neoplasms, which is diseases of the blood, then there is nutritional diseases, and the mental and behavioral disorders. And we've only just begun. We have diseases of the nervous system, the eyes, the ears, the circulatory system, the digestive system, respiratory system, the skin. We have the musculoskeletal system and the genital urinary system, which is every college student's favorite subject until they take my class, that is. We have all the conditions of pregnancy, of human abnormalities, and of course the whole entire world of the unknown. We will be discussing these categories and the hundreds of subcategories of disease. have a wonderful meal tonight and this weekend go out to a very crowded very public place because once you start this class you will never look at the world or your surroundings quite the same oh and study chapters one through five we will begin discussing them on Monday <laughs> from the government for so long. Given your love of science, it is only a matter of time until we are able to catch up with you. There are only so many places. Ah, betrayed by my love. She's such a fickle one. But as with all loves, I cannot hide from her for very long. She has me in her grasp. Gentlemen, institution, for I shall see you no more, for I have tired of running, and now I shall see what my fate shall bring me. Gentlemen.
8001 is having phenomenal results on all of the samples that I've tested it against. It's unlike anything that I've worked with in the lab so far. 8001's mechanism of action is to literally take within its cellular wall any pathogen or foreign agent, and then it just destroys its DNA. I have never seen anything like this. So you're saying you've had 100% success against all your test samples? Yes, I am saying that we have had 100% success against all the samples. This molecule has demonstrated superior efficacy at all levels against pathogens, regardless of the changes I put it through. And I subjected this molecule to many, many changes. Changes in conditions such as temperature, humidity, heat, and extreme cold. And you know what? No change. This particle never broke down, never froze, never boiled. I've never seen anything like this. I consistently re saw it reverse diseases, whether it was in the dish or within our test samples, consistently. Not only that, I went on to subject it to light and then light deprivation, then ultraviolet light and even microwaves. This molecule never changed. I don't know where you got this, it's remarkable. I even did time studies. I laid it out, exposed it to the elements for days, and its efficacy remained as powerful within this environment as our original samples that were left in the lab's refrigerators. Where did you get this? 8001 is the most powerful disease-reversing molecule I have ever exposed myself to within a lab. This is consistently effective. I have never seen anything like it before. What is this stuff? Thank you, doctor, for your assistance. Your work here is finished. We will now take all your test samples and results, and you will Wait. be quarantined. Wait, you can't just finish to a work for humanity. Where'd you get that stuff? I've never seen a molecule on Earth. Simply incredible. This is phenomenal. What was she testing it at? She was experimenting with tests on a variety of cancerous cells. What about the others? I mean, what's its effect been on other diseases? The results have been the same, lab after lab, test after test, disease after disease. It is curing everything under every condition. What has Professor John said? He has to tell us something. Well, so far, he has cooperated with us with our experiments in the lab. However, he refuses to tell us what the origin is. <sighs> Why don't we just beat it out of him or try some techniques that we use for spies and other traitors? Because we don't want to damage his knowledge of AD-01. It is much too important. He will have to talk to us eventually. We have been onto his work for years now, and he has tried to elude us at every turn. He is a very cunning man. This was his third attempt to escape. Miraculously, he continues to break through all of our security. I've never seen anything like it before. He seems like an ordinary old man, but in his mind, he was the formula for the cure to all human sickness. Every nation on Earth has been after him since rumors of 8001 began to surface years ago. The Chinese have tried to duplicate it, the Brits, even the Russian Federation. None of them have come even close. He is the only man on Earth that knows this formula, and until we find out what it is and how to duplicate it, we will do everything in our power to keep them alive, safe, and conversing. Well, you know, this won't be easy. Once we have him back in custody, we might as well prepare for war. Governments will be after it, pharmaceutical companies will be after it, and terrorist groups will be after it, too. Terrorist groups? What would they want with the Wonder Cure? They want to hold the world ransom. They want to heal those that they call holy, and they want to infect those that they call the infidel. Wow, that's deep. I know the value of what's in this vial can bleed any country dry and make someone, some country, or some company ridiculously rich. Man, no one can be trusted with this. Yeah, you're right. No one can be trusted. <laughs> Facility. He's under maximum security. I didn't ask you to figure that out. 
I asked you to secure it. Have you done that? Yes. Good. Now terminate him. But sir, I thought we wanted to keep him alive until we are able to understand the formula. That so-called formula is too much of a problem. It turned the world upside down. Think of all of the failing economies with nation after nation rise to become the highest bidder with a wider cure. Wars will be fought to control it. They fought again to take it from the one who controls it. Pharmaceutical companies around the world will go bankrupt. Doctors, nurses, and hospitals will cease to operate. The people who make equipment, supplies, and tools will lose their jobs. It is too big of a risk. It is better that man continue on with his sickness. We have learned to accept it. Live with it. It is a way of life. Why, men wouldn't know how to live without disease. Now do I have to explain it any clearer for you, Mr. Rogers? I said to get rid of him. If you hesitate, or if I think you've hesitated, I will get rid of you too. Don't think for one moment you are the only man I have inside of this job. You are just the first one who has called me with a clear access to him. Now do your job! captors brought me in, and now there's one. I suppose those who pull the strings have begun pulling. You know, young man, I have been in the same predicament as you, spending hours wondering, does man have the right to be healed and healthy, as God intended to be disease-free? But for mankind, I suppose that is impossible with his nature. But what would happen if there was a cure? So is it true that it can cure anything? Well, if it weren't true, I don't think you'd be here to kill me, I suppose. For one cure, maybe. Two, possibly. But to have a cure for everything, that's almost too much for the mind to conceive. Well, are you sick or do you have a loved one that is? Well, as the Bible says, healing is the children's right. What do you have? The doctor said I have hepatitis B. Well, now you don't. You are all healed. Oh my God, I could have killed you. What are we doing? How did I get involved in this? Son. Some men will do almost anything for money. I've got to get you out of here. There are men coming to kill you if I don't. If I wanted to run, I would. But I decided not to. Young man, I appreciate your passion, especially after receiving ADO1. But I can't run anymore. Let them all come in if they must. Whatever is to come of ADO1, it must happen. But I don't believe man can resist it any longer. I don't think you understand what I am saying to you. There are people out there who don't want the cure. They don't want the possibility of what it can do to the economy. The possibility of what it can do to men who try to control it. This can turn the world upside down more than it already is. Please, I know I've been cured, but I can't let that hope be destroyed because there's men with a lot of money and a lot of power who don't want this cure to be shared. Son, 8001 has been in the earth for thousands of years. If man really wanted it, he could have found it. It's been right there, under his nose, all this time. But I don't believe man has really wanted it. We really don't have much time. I've got it. 
Is there any way we can send the formula to every lab throughout the world? That way, no one will be able to control it, the secret will be out, and whoever he needs to cure can have it. Well, that's funny. This so-called secret has been there for all these years. If man really wanted to find it, he could if he wanted to know. Look, there isn't much time for your philosophies. Do you not understand what is at stake? The greatest discovery history has ever known is sitting in that bow, and there are men coming to destroy it and you, the only man that holds the truth. Mankind has been in the dark much too long. They must know the truth. Young man, this is much more than a vaccine. This is the only thing that will produce ADO1, and I suppose that is a real challenge, isn't it? What is the source? I don't think there's much time. There's no way I'll be able to hold these men off by myself when they're here. They might just blow the place up. You have to tell somebody what the source is. You have to tell somebody other than yourself. I knew you were too weak to follow through with my instructions. Just had to know if it would work on your hepatitis, didn't you? You cannot destroy this cure. Mankind has suffered too long waiting for the answer to sickness and disease, and it's finally here. I cannot let you stop that. I told you that I have many insiders on this job. In fact, I don't know who isn't working for someone in there. So. If my men don't get you, someone else's will. I cannot and will not let you do this. I never believed in God, but if there is one, I can't believe he will let us find this answer only to lose it. I'm going to give you five minutes to do your job, or I will do you and the old man. Okay, we have five minutes. We've got to do something. Wait, you're known for your miraculous escapes, so get us out of here. There's no need. I've already told you. Listen, I don't know if you're senile or crazy, but we're both about to be dead in just a few minutes. Now, I've made peace with that, but I do not want my death to be for nothing when 8001 is sitting right here. It cured me for crying out loud, and I know it did. You're right. I've carried the secret to this formula way too long. It's time that man knows that there's such a cure on Earth. Young man, sit down. I'd like to tell you my discovery of AD-01. When I was a young man, my grandfather and I went over to the Holy Land. We went where all the Christians go, to where Christ had walked on the earth. It was such a special time. My grandfather was such a special man. One day, the tour guide gave us some time off from the tour, and my grandfather took me to a man that I didn't know, but he had known for many years. This man gave us a small piece of wood. So it comes from a tree? Was it indigenous to Israel? What was it? It was a piece of wood. My grandfather held it as if to reverence it. He began to cry. It was as if it was yesterday I didn't remember it. But his tears were out of sadness. They were as now as I understand, in awe of that piece of wood. When we came back from Israel, my grandfather put the wood in a safe in his study. Shortly after that, scarlet fever broke out, and I was stricken by it. I was bedridden. My parents say that I was close to death. But one night, my grandfather came over with that small piece of wood. He scraped a small portion of it into my tea, and when I drank of the tea, the fever left me. I was healed instantly. And as you, I had an awakening of my conscience. At that time, I knew the purpose that God had put me here for. 
it was to find the healing and health for mankind. I asked my grandfather, what was the wonders of that wood? And he said that I would have to become much wiser to understand that. So that's when my pursuit of science took place. I went to the universities. I studied the sickness and diseases. I found many cures. I've had accolades. The scientific community thought I was the next Einstein, but it was all in the pursuit of the knowledge of that piece of wood. So what was it? What are the properties that make it 8001? Well, I come to find out it wasn't the wood. It was just plain cypress wood. I went to the forest and I studied cypress trees for the wonders of them, but nothing surfaced. Well, what did your grandfather tell you? Did he ever disclose the secret of what the wood is, or did he ever give it to you to test? Yes, on his deathbed, I asked him the lifelong quest of the secret of that wood. It has been five minutes. We'll get in there. I don't want this cure, no. Do you hear me? Those words changed my life forever, even more than the initial touch of the wood. What were they? He said, faith in his blood. Faith in whose blood? His? What does that mean? It means, young man, there was a drop of blood on the wood. And not just any blood, but a drop of the blood that can make a difference. Do you mean Jesus? Yes. When my grandfather died, he gave me the piece of wood. I took it to my lab and examined it. I found that there was a trace of blood cells on it. When I took those cells and put them into a batch of syrup, there was a healing agent unlike the world has ever known. Yes. The world needs to know. <laughs> they need to know. We don't want your wonder cure, Professor Johns. May it disappear along with you. They Why is it easier to believe in a pill or a potion than to simply believe? If there was such an agent as AD01, wouldn't you do anything to access it? Yet the Bible tells us he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed.